But the reality is, if you are a parent of a black child, you may have to reinforce in our children that they have value given to them by their creator, regardless of what society says. And you have to do this without going to the extreme and drifting into black nationalism. Now, I would not have said this if I did not have someone that came before me that was better than me that took this approach. And this is the man named Saeed Ibn Musayyib, who was from the best and most knowledgeable of men that came in the second generation of Muslims. So a black man came to visit him one day. And he said to the black man, don't be sad because you're black. For indeed, three of the best people were black. Bilal and Mahji, who was the free slave of Umar ibn Khattab, and Luqman the wise, who was a black Nubian. And what we also see from this is a person does not have to be black to understand the plight that a black person will go through, nor does a person have to be black to present a remedy for the problem. Likewise, we have Ibn al-Jawzi. Now, he is a Muslim scholar from the 12th century. He observed racism and colorism during his time and how it caused some people of African descent to be sad. So because of this, he authored a book called The Virtues of Blacks and Abyssinians. And inside this book, he explained how the virtue of a person is found within his piety, not his race or color. But he also highlighted many virtues found in black people. And he did this so the black community would not feel bad about being black based upon the racism that society puts towards them. And inside this book, he mentions many things. It's a lengthy book. He mentions some of the kingdoms that the black race had upon the earth. And they were more than the other races. He mentions some of the prophets and righteous people who were black, like the prophet sent to the people of the ditch, which is mentioned in Surah Al-Buruj. That prophet that was sent to those people, he was Ethiopian. And also the, the believers who were murdered and burned in the ditch were also Ethiopian. He also mentions that Luqman al-Hakim was black. And he mentioned a narration from Ali ibn Abi Talib that says Dorqanain was also black. One interesting chapter that he has in this book is the chapter about men, Arab men, who preferred black women over white women. Now, this chapter has a bit of importance to it because if you are a black parent and you know that your child is always hearing that their hair is too kinky or their skin is too dark, this can have long-term effects on how they see themselves and their opportunities. So black fathers have to reinforce in their daughters that they are attractive and that many men see them as attractive. And again, I'm not the first person saying this. Ibn al-Jawzi put a whole chapter in his book entitled The Men That Prefer black woman over white woman because we know that the in society even back during his time white woman was seen as more attractive than black woman by the majority of the people so he let it be known that no there are many people and he mentioned even some of the people even back from the sahaba that prefer black woman over white woman and this is just a preference and it's not to have nationalism but it's to show that no Allah has placed beauty in you also. And many men recognize that. So he mentioned a 
narration of an Arab man that fell in love with a black woman. And so his family criticized him for this. And so he wrote some lines of poetry saying, if a beauty spot, you know, the black spot, that's, you know, that's called that a beauty mark. If a beauty mark placed upon an ugly cheek will clothe that cheek with allure and beauty, then how can one be criticized if he sees a woman and her entire essence is like that beauty spot? Meaning that beauty spot is black. If that one black spot can make an entire face attractive, then how about a woman that her entire essence is that black beauty spot? And he has many narrations inside this book like that about the virtues found in blacks and Abyssinians. So how can a black parent give this self-esteem um, self to his child without falling into nationalism. It's simple. Just read the book that Ibn al-Josie already laid out for you. Just read the book. So you don't have to begin to go into nationalism and begin to mention evil people just because they were black. Like some people, they want to mention Pharaoh, who was one of the worst people upon the face of the earth. That's not someone that anyone wants to be proud of. But you just read straight from the book that Ibn al-Josie laid out and you remind your child that your virtue comes from your piety. But you should know that regardless of what society says about you, Allah has placed virtue in his creatures. And this book has been translated into English. So you just get the, you order um you just get a copy of the book. You just get a copy of the book and you read straight from the book to your children. Now, so this is what we wanted to mention. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala Muhammad.